I think the Minister of Home Affairs, the Honorable Karim Musa, um, has indicated that you know that's the whole direction that he wants to move. We need a more transparent, open, accountable uh, register. Um, and you know, as you know, they've they've changed the the gun licensing format, the the, the structure of issuing where. It, before it lies solely with the commissioner of police, now you have a, a group. Um, so I think that's the spirit that they're approaching it, and I, and I think they will achieve that objective of having a more open, transparent, uh, you know, audit, if you like. Um, I don't know what you'll call it, but uh, of the of the gun registry. If you look at the, the um, parliament, you'll you'll know that you have people from rural communities. Um, so they hunting and, 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 and having guns is a part of their daily life and culture, farmers. Um, so obviously you have to have um, you know, guns available. Um, but I think the point the Prime Minister made, which I fully endorse and support, is that we have too many guns in the country. We have too many guns in the country. Uh, we have to, in my view, put a moratorium on gun licenses. Um, and then we have to do the, the audit and the review to determine exactly who these people are that have gun licenses um, and how many guns guns they have. Um, it's critically important. People have a right, obviously, under the Constitution, under the laws of Belize, people have a right to protect themselves. Um, so gun ownership, you know, is a part of that. But um, it has to be responsible. There are responsibilities, not only rights. With every right comes a responsibility. And um, I think we have to have a hard line when people violate uh, these responsibilities, they, they, you have a gun but you're careless with it and that sort of thing, we have to make sure that people understand when they do that they will lose their gun license.